After five years, the biggest bomber ever built, the Douglas B-19, gets set for its trials. With a wingspan equal to the height of a 20-story building and wheels that dwarf the tallest man, this 80-ton giant is capable of flying to mid-Europe and back with 18 tons of bombs, a $2 million sky battleship that makes all other bombers look like toys. Two tons is the weight of that sky monster at Santa Monica, California. So heavy, the huge wheel crushes the pavement and sinks, and they have to place a big board in to roll it out. The wingspan, 212 feet. That's the height of a 20-story building. An Army test pilot takes the supergiant out for a trial, though not a trial flight. With a plane that big, the first test is taxiing on the ground, feeling out the controls. The pilot tries the control for lifting, and the front wheel raises. But that's enough. He'll report on the ground test before he actually takes off and makes a test flight in the biggest bomber in the world. Test flight of the biggest airplane in the world to be powerfully armed, gun turret in the tail. At Santa Monica, California, 45,000 spectators watch with tense interest as the Douglas Super Bomber B-19 takes off. Is it possible to raise such a giant? A nerve-tingling moment as she seems to falter, dips, but the immense plane straightens out and soars aloft. That super leviathan of the sky cost three and a half million dollars and took five years to build. Cruising radius more than 7,000 miles. The landing is a drama. Will it be successful? It takes the utmost of skill to bring to earth a plane of new design and of such magnitude. Wingspan 212 feet. Total weight when fully loaded, 82 tons. And that's being landed for the first time. Wheels down. There's a rebound of the vast weight. And then, smoothly along, the successful test flight of the biggest of all sky craft, latest and largest addition to American air power. Takes quite an aviator for that great a job. Major Stanley Umstead the U.S. Army's chief test pilot.